There are lots of stories about how the flute came to be. And um, the uh, gentleman um, who uh, is famous all over the uh, south southwestern United States is a guy named Cocapelli. Um, either a hunchback or a, um, a pack of stuff in his, in his back, and he's playing his flute. And the bronze that I have at home shows him he's walking, uh, and one foot is out, and, and the other is on the ground. And I have him positioned in such a way, I have a painting that I got that is a desert painting, and it looks like he's walking out of the desert. And so that's that's the Cocopelli guy. He's considered, um, along with Coyote and uh, Rabbit, he's considered a trickster. He's also considered, uh, I'm trying to clean this up, um, he's a, a very hot number with the ladies. <laughs> and so that's that's part of that part of it. But the other part of the story is that how it allegedly happened is there an, an Indian fellow, uh, I won't say Native American because there aren't any Native Americans, we're all Indians, give it up. Uh, and But he, um, guy was walking through the, through the woods and he heard this sound and it turned out to be, it was going, it was a branch uh, going, uh, blowing wind through this branch. And so he went and grabbed it and, and moused with it and turned it into the, the first flute. Mm -hmm. That's the, the historical uh, story around the whole thing. Um, this particular flute, I won't tell you the whole story because it's too long, really, but um, I'll tell you part of it. Uh, the guy named Mac Lopez, whom you know, flute player, famous, good guy, great flute maker too. Um, he sold me uh, a, a branch flute that was just gorgeous. Um, that, that means it came from a tree. It wasn't crafted and cut in half mm -hmm. and all that stuff. This is also was a branch. And uh, I, I had it for about a year and I couldn't play it. I don't know, you know what it was. So I sent it back to him and I said, can you fix this so I can play the play it? And he said, and he, he called me up and he said, well, I don't know what's going on. And he said, but I can play it and my wife can play it, and my one-and-a-half-year-old son can play it. <laughs> the last part's a lie. Uh, but he did say he could play it, and, he, and so I, we, I kicked in another 50 bucks, and this is what he gave me. Wow. And uh, nice. it's, um, it's a horse, of course, on the, on the I lost the word for, for the covers. This particular piece uh, covers the, uh, the hole in a flute, and if you don't have it right, it either squawks or it won't, you just blow in hot air through both ends of the thing. And so that's kind of the way it works. Um, it's fairly heavy. You know, some of the flutes are, are much lighter. Uh, this little one here is, is analogous to the one that she, she brought. It's, it's extremely light. This one's not light. But, um, and of course they come in different keys and I don't have any idea what a key is, except I know some uh, G and F are easier for me to play, and the lower uh, ones are very easy to play. But generally, they make them with them. They drill the holes so that um, so that they uh, they're. Well, I'm sorry. They, the big the bass flutes have longer hand things. My hands, as you can see, aren't aren't very big. They used to be big, but then I got old, <laughs> and uh, no. But, uh, so, but I can't play those because the stretch is for my hands is just too, uh, too much. A really hard stretch. Uh, and they come in um, usually. Well, the one I just talk about American, North American. Uh, they come with six holes, um, and, and uh, sometimes they come in five hole. Um, and then they will usually, although they didn't with this one, they'll usually uh, in order to get it to the right note. Uh, they'll they'll bore holes in here. They don't ha only have the the uh, that's necessary to get the flute to the note that they're trying to achieve. And I don't really know how that works because I'm not a flute maker at all, only a flute player. And uh, my wife, uh, I'm my wife. My mother sent me my first flute in uh, 1995, and um, I'm what they call a self-taught Indian. Well, there you go. 
Um, and uh, so I would play it and my wife would make me go in the bathroom, <laughs> close the door, turn on the fan <laughs> so she couldn't hear it because it was pretty ugly for a long time. <laughs> but that's the story of some flutes at any rate. Most of the flutes, a lot of them are made out of uh, western cedar and which is a really, um, and my the flute that I have, one of them is a really, you can, you can smell it and it still smells like cedar, which really is a good smell. And uh, the, uh, the only other thing I would say is, in joking, uh, this flute is, is or has been, not this particular one, uh, a, um, a sacred instrument that people uh, use for prayer. Uh, one friend of mine, uh, he has a flute, and uh, he, when he, he's a very spiritual guy, unlike me. That's not true, but close enough. Uh, but he, he will only use that flute to, to make a note, and he uses it in his uh, prayer, uh, prayer stuff that he does. So he's a, he's a really good guy. At any rate. So the, one, the thing you need to do is to make sure that all of the holes are covered. And uh, otherwise, you're not going to get much out of the deal or it'll be really ugly. One of the two. I'm not in favor of ugly on any given day. So, but this is... That wasn't good, was it? Hang on a second. Let's see what's going on here. Just a minute. Sometimes you can you play a flute, and if you have a lot of saliva and stuff, you do what it winds up doing what they call wetting out, and it's not a good thing. It won't blow when you're you're wetting it out, uh, and a lot of times you get to do this to make it go away. But um, that's the flute. Um, I I've seen um, people that have for 30, 40 flutes, you know, and they're beautiful. I have um, eight. I think it is. Uh, one is from uh, Cherokee, a uh, river cane flute. This, this is a branch, some of the western cedar flutes. I have a bamboo flute that's really hard to play. Still is. I haven't figured that one out yet after 10 years. But um, it, um, I would say for, for uh, meditation, for prayer, better yet, uh, that um, Sometimes I just sit there uh, and play, and um, it's, um, I don't know what to call it, it's very uh, calming to me, um, and um, I, uh, I do think the creator, Unet Lenahi, the creator, uh, and uh, that's, that's where my, my belief system was, is, uh, is. Uh, the Catholics got me from at the age of seven and screwed me over. I'm gonna have a master's degree in psychology counseling 
I have a BA in philosophy, and I know all about Catholic theology and Catholic um, stuff. And uh, I, I don't uh, find it uh, useful to me or comforting. And frankly, because of all of the things that I know about uh, all that stuff, it is. At any rate, Wado and um, adios, da 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 go hi.